What's up guys out there? You know there's never a dull moment in the fish room and we have an issue with the 40 Gras tank here. You guys can see Peacock Bass have had some issues going on. What I've been doing is I've been definitely, uh, it's not here, but I'm gonna reach over here and show you guys. But I've been treating it with, which I thought was Ick X. So I've been treating with this here itself, following the instructions of course, but I think I made a wrong diagnosis. So Two or three weeks ago, I got some new peacock bass in the 40 gallon tank here, and I started noticing one of them started having, which I thought was ick. So actually, with ick X, you can see it there. Okay, it seemed like it healed. I did my water changes, followed the instructions. Great, it seemed like it's getting better. It came back again with a vengeance. I did more research, kind of find out it wasn't actually ick, it was actually a fungus infection. And now that particular fish that was sick, which I thought was healing, has spread to the other bass in the tank. Now, a mistake I made in this case is I did not quarantine my fish. I put them right into the tank, which is okay. I, hey, we all do that. We all make that mistake, which I wouldn't say mistake, because sometimes you just don't have a quarantine tank set up or anything ready to go right there immediately. And hey, we all work a full-time job. We always got things we got going on. We don't do this for a living and things do happen. But I do have a backup quarantine tank, so what I'm gonna do today is take the two peacock bass out of this tank, put them in the quarantine tank, get the medication, and start treating them, and obviously make sure they heal and recover. That's the main key here, heal and recover. Make mistakes, mistakes happen, and you just move on from there. But let's treat them, let's get them feeling better, and stay tuned for more videos. All right guys, well, obviously I'm down on the ground because this is where my quarantine tank is. And uh, you guys can see it's catching these small bass, obviously with a big net. It was difficult. I know they're a little stressed out. The first bass was easy to catch. The second one, not too much. So you guys probably see they're right, right down there in the corner. I definitely breathe a little heavy. So one tip, which I'm gonna show you guys right now, is anytime you decide to quarantine a fish and medication, so even though I have a big filter right here, the Tidal uh, 110, a bigger filter for a 29 gallon tank, this is what's available. However, what I like to do with fish like this is always when you put medication to a tank, it can uh, suck out the oxygen. So I'm gonna go and grab an, an aerator, put some air on this tank, because that's the best bet for the fish. So you guys can see how I do that. Um, I'm definitely going to give them time to adjust, turn the lights on the fish room down, um, and go to the store and grab some fungal cure because I don't have any right now and that's okay and we're gonna get more so stay tuned. So we got some air in the tank I don't like the way it's looking. I'm probably gonna tie it down somewhere so that's not floating around, but at least the fish got some air in the tank and you know, they're in the corner here. They're definitely a little stressed out, but we're gonna put some air on the tank and, and make sure that they can have enough oxygen while we quarantine and while we get ready to go. So stay tuned for more coming. All right guys, so I was able to fix the air race so it doesn't float around. I actually put a suction cup right there. Air rate is on top. I actually went here and let uh, me kind of brighten that up a little bit so you guys can see. So this filter has a lot of water flow, so I turn it down as much as possible. So if I turn it all the way up, here, super water flow, right? They don't need that. So stress, I'm gonna turn it down to a little, little bit of flow, right? Just, just a tap it there, that's about it. So run to the store, get some medication, 
for these guys which are right there to huddle together so let's clear them up put them back into the grub tank and with the make let me sure they come monster bass all right back down the floor again so I went to Petco I got some medication you guys can see there so it's for fungus infection body fans and different kind of things so that's the medication I'm using today and it should take care of that fungus infection so a couple different things I did do is I did bump the heat up I'm gonna add some aquarium salt probably later on and I'm gonna add this into the fish tank but always we do any medication make sure you always read the instructions and don't overdose overdose can kill fish one important thing is even if you don't overdose you read the instructions to a T still fish loss is possible it can happen so always medicate monitor your tank wait 24 to 36 hours and then actually change the water again too and take and remedicate again so these instructions say this shake well so i'm gonna shake well right now okay medication also says dose 5 ml so right here is 5 ml and right here is 10 ml for every 10 gallons of tank right uh, do it for seven days. Uh, after seven days, make sure water changes from five percent. So, dose daily for seven days at um, five mL uh, for every ten gallons. So this is a twenty-nine gallon tank. So instead of going five mL, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ten mL. So that means that it's twenty gallons for ten mL and five for uh, obviously 10 ml or I can do five for every 10 so whatever you decide to do something shake well shake it up one thing also too most time I handle any medication I always wear some latex gloves this time I didn't get it I'm in a hurry to get a dose so what I'm gonna do as you guys can see I'm gonna put some dose in there that's 10 mls it's gonna drop in the tank there we go great now what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna do 5 ml Good, so I don't overdose and pour it inside. And that's what we're gonna do today. So I'll put my shirt down um, and see what happens in the tank. And so far they seem okay. They're in the corner. They're probably just trying to get used to their environment, but we're gonna dose it here. It has a definitely smell to it. So again, always, when you ever do medication, especially liquid medication, wear gloves, because now it's on my hands and I need to go wash my hands. So. Always guys, subscribe. This is Ron Johnson, a mental health coach, student media therapist, and also fish enthusiast. And let's take care of our friends using some medication from API. And I'll always give you guys updates. Thanks for listening. It's day two. I'm back in the fish room. Obviously, I'm gonna dose them. API's paracleans again, so you guys see it there. They're down the corner to the side there. Probably hard to see. I did throw an aerator on there yesterday, and this time I'm wearing gloves. Anytime you handle a chemical like this, be careful not to get in your hands or maybe depending on what kind of chemical it is, it can discolor your clothes. So always wear gloves, be careful. I have a towel on the ground just in case any spills. But again, I'm gonna shake it, make sure it's closed, shake it nice and well. And then this way too. And I'm gonna take the top off. I have a towel right here below. I'm gonna drop it in 10 milliliters again. Drop inside the tank, there we go. And we do another five. Good. Drop it in the tank, and there we go. So, stay two of dosing. So far, you're looking good. I showed you earlier a video this morning where I actually was able to shoot them itself and look pretty good. Um, so, keep them in quarantine. Let's see what happens. And obviously, this is how you use Paracleanse um, from my Parapyma Pyma Fix. Duh, Pyma Fix from I API, and we're gonna put it in a tank, and uh, there we go, see what happens. Thanks, guys. You know, down low again, uh, but it's day three, and so they're still in quarantine. It seems to be doing much better. I don't see any fungus so far, but I'll show you guys in a second here. They did eat yesterday some blood worms, so it means they're eating, um, they're swimming around, air ready going. I did turn the pump volume up a slight little bit just to get the water turn on faster. I turned it down at first because this is a Tidal 110, which has about 100 gallons per hour, they say, whatever it is, and it filter itself. So 
What I actually did is I turned the water down because I didn't want them to be a lot of filtration at one time. They were shocked. So I turned it actually back up and get more water flow going because, you know, when you dose the chemicals in tank, you know, it's good to have good water flow for your fish. So again, wearing gloves as always. You don't want to get stuff in your hands, get in your eye. So I'm very careful pouring it. So I'm gonna take again. Same formula I'm using. We're gonna do 10 ml right there. Make sure I don't spill it, of course. Number right up. I spilled a little bit. That's why I have that towel there. Now again, take five ml. And again, right into the tank itself. And there we go. So now I'm gonna take my gloves off because I've touched this stuff and I'm gonna all my hands. And I'm gonna show you guys, put that on so I don't spill it, how tanks look inside. So give me one second, get up off the ground. Okay, let's get there. Let me zoom in a little further. There you go. So they're both in the corner there. I can't see, but I'm gonna drop a light probably later on. Probably day four. And it's kind of show you guys what it looks like, but you can zoom in there. I don't see too much happening. Maybe it's working so far. So we'll keep going. That's day three, guys. Thanks for listening. All right, guys. Obviously, in down low again. The bass is in the quarantine tank, and this is what you call day four. So I decided to do something a little bit different today. What I noticed is the water looked a little cloudy. And one thing I always pay attention to is my health of my tanks and the water clarity and the food left. There's any food, you always take it out. So I decided to do a test kit today. So this right now is my pH. You can see right there, it's supposed to be a little bit darker, about seven, about 6.5, 7.2. It's a little bit less than that. But remember, with pH, it does rise and fall. So I did not take it first thing this morning. I just took it now, and this is what it looks like. Next one is ammonia. And that, you know, is looking really green. Probably 2.5 ppm, but definitely the water change. Okay. And if you go to my night trite, it's definitely looking like it leads to water change as well. So definitely overall, the same thing is water change. Next one, if you go down to my night trite, it's definitely not as high as it should be with poop and stuff, but definitely this one, nitrate, sorry, nitrite. And this one, ammonia, needs to be changed. So, definitely sometimes we medicate fish, it does change the water quality and chemistry. So, with that being said, instead of medicating today, which is day four, I'm gonna do a nice good water change. I can tell yesterday, the spots that I saw, the fungus I saw on one of the bass, which had a lot of fungus, has actually cleared up. So, I'm gonna show you guys right now what it's looking like. Hope you get some light shine on the tank itself, but this is day four. I did my water test. I'm gonna do a water change. There's a video of them eating, so you guys look at the video. They are eating, so that's a good sign. It's in my book, fish are eating, because when they eat, it can help boost the immune system, so they feel much better. So let's take a look and see how they look right now. Okay, that's a much better picture, but again, day four, they're looking a little bit better. I don't see that fungus like I was seeing before. Fins look good, they eat pretty well, and obviously there's a lot of bright light shining because I'm in a dark area. But in general, you see the food, some food in the bottom. In general, it looked to be doing much, much better. Um, so, water change today, and this is the update for day four. All right, guys, it's day five. So one, two, three, four, five, and this is day five, and then being in the quarantine, and they're looking pretty good so far. So. I did a water change yesterday, so I showed you a video yesterday of me doing water change and the testing. So it looked really good, it looked really healthy, water looks good, a lot better. So I'm gonna do now day five of the treatment. Shake it up as always, wear gloves, of course, we handle any medication, and I'm gonna do the same thing. So we're gonna definitely check in with them. So same thing, if you have, uh, the, the medication is that if you use 10 gallons, it's five milliliters, I have 30 gallons, I'm gonna use 10 milliliters, pull up to the top, there we go, safely use it, dump it in, and I'm gonna do up to five ml, same thing, dump it in, seal it up, and there we go, and that's how I'm gonna make sure you're okay. So let's take a quick look and see how they're looking right now in the tank, and I'm looking this a little close myself, I don't see fungus anymore, so it's working pretty well. So let's take a look, guys, and see what's going from there. Okay, let's get a little closer, move down. 
There they are. Let me zoom in. You see the camera and see how I'm looking for you guys. So, man, looking pretty good. I, I don't see any fungus on them themselves. They're eating pretty well. And we're going to go to day six tomorrow. And in about a week, they will be out of quarantine. So, that's day six, and it's a wrap. All right, guys, it's day six, so one, two, three, four, five, and six of the process. So they're actually looking much better, and I want to touch on the fact when I'm learning this process is one, quarantine your fish. You know, I didn't do that in this case, and that's okay, and I'm learning about the process. Um, two, when you dose medication for any fish, due to water changes, you need to bump the heat up. I make sure I do water changes in those tanks and dose a lot of medication. It makes you stay healthy, so I just did a water change right now. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to dose it one more time. Today, today will be the last day. After today, I'll check tomorrow and see how they're doing, how's the medication taking, um, because pretty much now at this point, I see zero signs of fungus. So I'm probably going to wait a few more days after I dose today as far as last medication and um, see what happens, see if anything else shows up in the process. So. Thanks for tuning in, guys, and listening to how I'm learning about the quarantine process and how it's just, just hey, just, everything is learning. Everything's an adjustment. Everything is will be okay. So I'm going to dose it right now. And you guys will take it. Okay, so I'm going to dose with the last medication again that I get from API. And uh, as always, wear your gloves. And I'll put 10 milliliters. Fill it up on the ground. Throw it in the tank. Awesome. Five milliliters. There it is. Dose it. Go in the tank. And that to me would probably be my last day medication. They're looking better. I don't see any signs of fungus or any signs that I was seeing before. They pretty much healed. And I'm probably getting a couple more days. And after a couple more days, I'm gonna throw them right into obviously back to the old tank so they can grow out and thrive. And they're eating pretty well, so that's good too. So Hell, it's working. So let's keep it working as far as medication, water changes, make sure they're fed. That's all it is. Quarantine process is very easy. Lesson learned. I'll do it better next time. All right, guys. I'm learning a couple of things out of this process of taking care of fish and getting new fish in, sense of the species, all those great things, right? Because I love fish. There's one. Always quarantine your fish when you new fish in. I know sometimes you can't and sometimes you don't have the right equipment. That has happened. That is the case. Always go to like a Facebook marketplace, offer up, ask is anybody having a small 29 gallon, 40 gallon, whatever tank size you need to quarantine your fish, depending on what size. Also, sick down realizing, have some general cure, any product on stock in your fish room or in your closet so it's ready to treat your fish. Third thing I'm realizing is, guess what? Take your time. It's okay. You can get through it, right? As far as taking care of fish, and don't stress out too much about that. Also, I'm realizing, which is more important for everybody out there, like the most, most important thing is watch and look at your fish every single day. You never know what can show up out the blue, unexpected. Don't wait the time goes by. So me in the morning, I always do a thing called roll call. I check on this tank. I check on the one behind here, the one behind the camera itself. Downstairs in my fish room, look at all my fish and make sure they're healthy. Does something change? Does our filter off? What happens? Catch stuff immediately. So always guys, thanks for listening. This is Ron Johnson, your fish enthusiast, mental health coach, and swimming therapist. Subscribe and thanks for listening.